Hello and welcome to Cooking with Shards. My husband and I manage a remote cattle station in the Northern Territory. It's 1.7 million acres in the middle of nowhere and five hours from town. Let's just say you can't pop to the neighbors for a cup of sugar because, well, they're over an hour's drive away. I'm also the station cook and we usually have around 12 staff. Life is crazy, busy and full of adventure. But today, we're here to cook. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my corned beef. It's super easy and really, really yummy. You're not going to be sorry. For those of you who don't know, my name's Miss Shardy and this is my cookbook. You'll find my corned beef recipe in the dinner section on page 70. But if you don't have my cookbook, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it right now. So I cook my corned beef now in my slow cooker. It's, a, it's one of the large Breville rectangular slow cookers and I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's been a real game changer for the corned beef cooking here on the station. It's how I cook the normal silver side if I'm doing a piece to put in the fridge cold meat and it's also how I do it when I'm doing a dinner. In this size slow cooker, it'll feed around 12 to 14 people, maybe even 16, depending on how big your piece of corned beef is that you can fit in the slow cooker. So we're gonna trim quite a bit of the fat off the corned beef today because I need it to be able to fit in the slow cooker. And I also don't want all of that fat on there because when you're cutting it up for dinner, there's just fat everywhere. So it's still gonna have a beautiful amount of fat for the flavor, but we're just gonna trim it down. Once it's trimmed down, I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard whole grain mustard and honey. Now, I really don't measure anything when I'm cooking my corned beef. I just grab the piece of corned beef, slap it in the slow cooker, trim it off a little bit so it fits in. I pour a bit of honey in. I probably put, I don't know, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of whole grain mustard and maybe half a cup of honey if I'm trying to give you my measurements. But you're just, gonna, you're just going to figure out how much you need for your piece of corned beef to cover it, to pour it over and cover it. Now, let it be clear that that is all I put on my corned beef. I pop the piece of meat in the slow cooker, I pour the mixture of Dijon mustard, whole grain mustard and honey over that, rub it in, make sure it's all over it, and pop it in the slow cooker, turn it on to low, and cook it for about six to eight hours. To, again, depending on how big your piece of corned beef is. I don't add water. I don't add anything else. I turn it on and I let it cook. And, one, and you'll, what I find is by the time it's finished cooking after six to eight hours, that pot will be full of liquid as you'll see at the end of at once we're finished cooking this now if i was cooking a piece of corned beef for cold meats to pop in the fridge i just have it all ready to go and when i'm finished cleaning up from dinner at about 7 38 o'clock i just turn that slow cooker on to low and it will be beautifully cooked by the morning say when you come in to make breakfast at five or six o'clock, just turn it off, pull it out, and it's ready to go. It is honestly the easiest way to make corned beef. A friend of mine from down in Brookfield, Brisbane, Steph, taught me how to do it this way. I went to the Brookfield Long Lunch many years ago, and Steph had bought a piece of corned beef. Now, I, was, I, I thought to myself, oh, corned beef? Oh, not really excited about that for a luncheon. But when I tasted it, it was a game changer. It was so delicious. And when she told me what she had done, she had literally put it in the slow cooker the night before, pulled it out, bam, ready to go. Thanks, Steph. It's changed the lives of so many people. So we can't thank you enough. 
So my friends, without any further ado, this is how we do corned beef in the slow cooker. much for watching. I'd love it if you could like my video and hit subscribe down below. If you'd like a copy of my cookbook, Miss Shardy's Guide to Station Cooking, you can find it at misshardy.com.